Hi, it's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. We're going to get back on the AI Alpha Romeo design. We've got, I think, uh, about seven hours total. Uh, the last one, episode five, I kept referring to the wheelbase as 74 inches. I had a brain fart or something. I don't know why. And it was actually 94 and a half. I knew it was 94 and a half. I had it marked at 94, but I was referring to it as 74. So we decided that 94 and a half was not going to be long enough, so we made it to 100 inches. So we also, uh, we, we've got the 100 inch wheelbase, and we had these uh, chrome wire wheels. They're off of a Jaguar, actually. They're bolt on from an XJ6. I bought a couple XJ6s donor cars for other projects that we're building. We got some scabby tires that came with it, and we cleaned up the, the wire wheels a little bit, and that gives you the really good visual. What we're going to try to do today is revise the wires a little bit more. So we've been living with it for, you know, four or five days since the last video. We've got a, a little bit of a program we want to, we want to unleash here now. So one thing I, I came to the conclusion is I do have this wire a little high. So I'm going to lower it down. And all the wires, I've got the position marked with tape on these upright stanchions. So I'm going to move that down and probably forward a little bit because I believe this is supposed to be about here and then down about that far. So that's what I'm going to do now is unclamp that and move that around. All right, I moved the line down, but I haven't moved it forward. Now I want to move it forward. I think it looks better now down. All right, I moved that forward and down. I put the uh, nose line back on. This is the fender, top of the fender profile. And now I'm going to pull the, uh, the center line down a little bit and the roof down just a little bit more. Yeah, we can cut a lot of that extenders off right now um, because they're, they're screwing up the view a little bit. But you know what we need to do is we need a cutout of the engine size, a cardboard piece so we can put it in there uh, because that's going to determine where that line is. That's super important right there. I fright. Yeah, 30 inches, we'll say. That's what gives us a little for total length. And for height, we have... We're going to put uh, a different setup here. We're not going to have this... Uh, like that so it'll be a little less than that and this is let's call it 28 it's 27 but we'll give it 28 we'll clean up the front a little bit we do have the belt cover right here it's got lousy plastic belt covers on the motor i'll make nice aluminum covers so it'll really look uh, really nice the rest of the motor is all aluminum that'll all polish up really beautifully uh, we want nice aluminum covers for the front so that goes down a little bit, say to here. All right, so there's our motor profile. Looks like we're covering everything. We might be a little high there, which is we'll, we'll see what we what it says now on the wire form. All right, there we have it. Uh, that's the rough placement of the uh, engine position. Uh, I might have to go three inches forward or so, or maybe an inch back, but I think that's pretty close. We're going to re keep refining that. But uh, it was uh, uh, 28 inches we settled on. That's the five-inch height. You can see it down below, and it fits in there really good. There is a bubble in the design uh, for the carburetor clearance or injector clearance whatever you're going to use so we will have a bubble on the hood at some point we don't have to be exactly like the picture none of it has to be exactly like the picture uh, we'll try to get it as close as possible but if we can make it better than the picture 
Uh, and one of the ways to get it better to the pitcher is a lot of people have said it's going to be really difficult to get into the car because of a low, low roof line and where you achieve uh, e- easy entrance is to bring the, the roof, uh, bring the door up into the roof. So we, we might incorporate that so it comes in about six inches into the roof and that allows you to get your head in there real easy. Where I'm at now is I kind of like the wires. The wires are looking more like the sports car intent that I want. We're still working on proportions and the line quality. And I think if we add a few more little details, that will reveal that much more. So a real easy detail that will reveal would be the uh, window profile or a surround to that uh, driver's door window. So I'm going to see if I can model that up and wire, and then we'll place it in position relative to the Mr. Adjustable. And um, I think that'll tell us a good story. I think the next thing I'm going to do is make that window uh, outline, and that, that doesn't, do hot, doesn't look too hot to do. And we'll put that in position here, and that will tell us a lot of information. So another issue we have to face is uh, there's, there's very few cars that are dead straight right down the side. And we've, we've got a basically a linear trajectory here. It's a pretty straight line. I tried to move the stanchions in a little bit. So we have to have, if you have the overhead view, you, you have to have a little roundness like this. It pulls in towards the tail, and it pulls in towards the nose a little bit. Uh, and and we, will, we will try that and make sure that looks good. I'm going to bend that uh, bottom line of the window first, and I'm going to leave it a little long in the front. We can cut that off after. i got to put a tight little radius right here. Keep this all on the same plane. And then I got to come up with that angle of that that back angle. So let's see, a little bit more. Beep. I'll try that, and. We won't put the other bend there. We're going to make that another wire because we, we want some adjustment here. So I'm going to cut this off long so we have the adjustment potential. We might have to adjust the height, and we might have to adjust the angle a little. All right, so there's a preliminary position of that wire. Uh, it's longer, so it's a little misleading if you look at it right now. We've got to put the second wire in, and that will ground that one so i want basically the same angle as the windshield i kind of like that windshield angle i got now and let's see so that'll be something like that so i gotta bend it about I'll leave that long, bend it about right there. And that's got a nice graceful radius there. It's not too tight. So it's a little weaker radius there. Let me try that. Uh, and then it has a curve on the top, too. It mimics the... Um, the roof curve. Uh, I don't see a curve on the front edge, so we could put a little bit of curve there if we needed to. So we got to get this curve on the top line a little bit. I hope some of you uh, take the challenge and start trying to do a wire form in your own garages as well. Uh, and as soon as you start doing it, you're going to be mesmerized. All right, this is our preliminary placement. 
I think it might be a little high. Um, and let's see, relative to the windshield. Yeah, it's got to come down this way, and it's got to, got to go that way and down some more. I'm going to go backwards with it some. Take that one off, Mark, by. Same plane. Let's go back here. All right. And then, let's see, come down a little bit on this side. Yeah. I'm liking that the back end has got to come down quite a bit, the back end of the roof. I think what we'll do is we'll make a new roof line because that roof line doesn't have the right curve that I want. So, But I like that door opening. Um, it might need a little bit, little tweaking still, but uh, I think that'll work. You still can get, you, you see the eyes will be able to look out the window without being obstructed. All right, we uh, we had the chrome wire wheels from an XJ6 on, and uh, Bob, who works for me, says, "Nah, they're too small. They're too small." So I said, "Okay, I have some 120 Jag wheels in the back. I pull those out, and we put those in." Is I I have to agree, it's really definitely an improvement. So uh, the theory is that possibly these wheels are like 18 inch. So I don't know if this is going to be set in stone, the 16 inch wheels. So we might even go bigger, but we're going to cross that bridge a little bit later. Uh, these are narrow tires from the 120 Jag. So they'd be wider than the ones we actually put on. But I think that height is what we want to shoot for as far as the OD of the actual tire. All right, bent a new roof line. It's got the curve I need in the roof. So that's about right there. So that's going to be welded in. What's wrong with that line? Well, I had it as a fastback, and I'm not so sure that it's going to be a fastback. I begin to see the angle of that back window is uh, pretty much a standard coupe body angle. And we'll put a little trunk in and then a quick ending. The back end is going to be small relative to the front end, and that's, the I think, the really appealing look of it. So... This is going to, I'm going to cut this and uh, use this wire. So this is where the trunk will start to bend up. We've got a little bit of curve in the back glass. This is all a guesstimate. And we'll put that in there and see what that looks like. All right. Um, slide it up to wire it. The, slide it up, slide it up, slide it up. Right, 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 right. Right about there, maybe. Let's see. I like that. Okay. Are you twisting it a little bit, or that's right? Okay. Okay. Let it let it come down just a little bit right there. Okay. All right. That's not bad. How I saw this though was it literally going down like that. I didn't see. No. No. Because if you look at the angle of that back glass, it's yep. not that severe. It's not that severe. I might have loose, uh, lessened it a little bit. Right. I'm not sure. Ah, I just, it's, it's this that has me. That's where the trunk is going to start. It's going to be a little trunk instead of a total fastback. I wasn't too thrilled with the fastback look. Really? Yeah. Frank, what do you think? Mark's a genius. <laughs> All right, change that roof line. I got a nice little curve on the top of the roof. Uh, I've kind of gotten rid of the fastback look. That was kind of the first guesstimate that, that it had a little fastback. I want to put a little trunk in it. Uh, that's not set in stone yet. It might change my mind totally on that. Uh, I do need to fix this wire in the front. 
So I'm going to make a new wire and splice it in somewhere on this center line of that fender wire. So that'll be the next step. All right, what are we thinking? Okay. I'm going to make a new wire here and splice it in right there. We'll still clamp it down below. But uh, take this one out. I'm going to weld this one in now. To bend this, you have to just keep sliding and bumping it, sliding and bumping it, and you'll end up with a nice clean line. So let's see what we got there now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm liking that right now. So we'll cut that off, splice that in there. Well, I'm off a little bit. I'm using the comma dolly here to just pop that up a little bit. All right, those are a couple good improvements for tonight, and tomorrow we'll further refine it. It's looking pretty good. We got a big-ass nose on there. That's what we want. Maybe pull it in a little bit if it's too much. The rear end we haven't decided on yet. Now, we got the roof line really close. It's ready to start putting some three-dimensional wires on those uh, um, secondary wires that will give it the 3D look. Right, we got uh, Super Volunteer Charlie here now from Michigan. He's, uh, I think this is his sixth trip out here. Last night, actually after Mark left, one of my students, uh, Kevin, he had a couple good ideas, and I, I always take a good idea if, if someone's got a good idea. And he suggested a few little tweaks, and we tried them out. It probably took about 10 minutes to do all the little tweaks. What we did was he perceived a little crown on this fender edge that I didn't see. I thought it was more straight. Oftentimes, they've got a hollow on them, uh, but he said it was crowned, and I have to agree with him. And that helped out a little bit. So we raised that up. We redid the location and the angle of this uh, driver's side door, uh, window. And um, we like it now better. And it mimics, this line mimics the roof line. And this is the same, same angle as the windshield line. I think we might put a little bit more curve in this right here. I'm not going to do that right now. And uh, I did a preliminary line last night uh, on this, uh, how to design the back end. And I, I had it swooping down and it was going to go out for a trunk. And Kevin liked the fastback look, which we had more exaggerated before. So we've got it down quite smaller than what it was. But we need to put a gas tank in there. And we need to have another spare tire in there at least. In that space, and I don't know if we have enough space right now because building a car is packaging all the elements in the right spot and having enough room for them all. So I'm going to address that later. I'm not going to deal with the the design of the rear until um, I've fleshed out a lot more of the design, and then I'll get the ideas that I need. Plus, I'll look at a few other ideas. What we want to do right now is I'm ready to put some 3D element into it. Uh, and uh, I think what I'm going to be doing with that is putting these uh, wheel well edges out here. And they'll be extending off of this profile. And I might have to move that whole profile in a little bit. I'm not sure yet. So I've got to make uh, these wheel outer wheel well edges including going in like that where it it hooks on so for the front and for the rear so i'm going to be doing that right now as a look 
lovely, as the British would say. We probably can make that in one piece. Now we got something to copy. We'll see if it works in the back though before we do it. That I need to. Well, I probably should make those other ones first and then see. Let's see if this works on this back here. Yeah, that'll work there. Yeah. So we're gonna make one of those. We made these outside edge wheel well openings. And uh, we also had Charlie, my volunteer from Michigan, super volunteer Charlie, uh, made these new stanchions up. We had the old style with the four legs. We came up with a little three-legged style. Uh, and I think we made six of them. We're gonna use two in the front on this wheel opening, two on that wheel opening, and two on the rockers. And we have one spare, I think. So this allows us to move them forward to back, up and down. And then we have to put the, the wire that's gonna go in to define the rocker line. So we've got four of those, two for the front, two for the back. That looks good. All right, does that stay, stay by itself? Yeah, I, do you want me to put a clamp on it? Or no, no, that's fine, that's good. Uh, this is a tricky pot too. We got to get this right. Oh, it's still super adjustable though. So we get the height right. Yeah, we got good height. And this distance here is looking good. The distance from this center line to here, we might need to adjust, but we might not do. It might be just right. We got to do the measurement from here to the center line and see what we got for total width times two. I shut my eyes. All right, so that's that one. All right. Now, we could put a line from here to here. So what I did was, uh, Charlie's helping me out a bunch. Uh, I needed some cardboard. I can take and just bend the wire and kind of fit it in, but it's, I thought it was better just to put the cardboard like that. And then I freehand a line on it, cut it with the cordless shears, and uh, I might be off a little bit, I don't know. We'll find out later and there'll be a whole procedure of how to keep the continuity of the line so that um, one of the wires is not low or high. You have to run a 3 16 wire across them all and it'll, it'll tell you if they, if they got to hit all the wires. If it rocks on one, there's a high one. If there's a hole or a low spot, that's a low one. So that'll come a little bit later and we'll have to adjust these if, if we have to. So the first wire, this is a momentous event in creating this wire form because now we're actually creating the 3D element of it. These are just flat plane profiles. Now we're, we're creating a third dimension. So we've got it marked off. It's gonna go right in here. This has moved a little bit. We, uh, we'll just MIG weld that in and it'll be very easy to undo it or modify it if we need to. And we've made three wires, one for here, one for here, and one for over here. We're in the process. Charlie, you can finish up those? Sure. You need, you need this? Yes, sir. Yeah. And um, once we get those three in, then we can take these stanchions out, and that should uh, hang by itself. We might have to put one more wire in, but I think that'll be pretty good. So we'll just MIG this in now. We're marking the top of the wire. Uh, with a little bit of tape, we'll take that off after. I think I'll clamp it with the copper. It's too hard to hold your hands nice and steady, so. We'll put the little piece of copper in there. We might not have to clamp this stuff. Maybe I can just rest it on there. Yeah, that looks like it'll work. It's a lot easier making this when you have a little help, too. Uh, Having Charlie's help is really helpful.
and I'm not looking at the uh, the fire here so all right it looks like it turned a little I got to heat it up that's not bad and this one maybe I'll clamp that on there too that's going to be hot so I'm going to let that drop that drops put this one in here These clamps are the greatest little clamps and they're also the biggest pains in the ass because they're, they're never the right squeeze. They're either too loose or too tight. Too loose, too tight, always. I'm gonna cut my tip off here. Yeah. This is where the real magic starts to happen when you start to get the 3D. Um, so far, it's probably watching grass grow, but eh, not really because you've seen this thing come alive and this design is really starting to pop pretty good. So, if when we start filling in where the hood is and connecting where the windshield is, it's, it's going to be a, a really amazing event. So, you'll see the car. And with, of course, we're only doing half. And then we're going to have to copy every one of these wires and reproduce it for the other side. You have to measure between each wire and all that. It's close measurement. It's not that hard to do. And we'll get pretty good symmetry. It'll be maybe an eighth of an inch off from left to right. We'll, we'll try to get it as close as possible. These should be pretty much 90 degrees. Um, I'm off a little bit, but that's okay too. When we do make the aluminum panels for this, um, even we take and go to great pains to make sure the wires all have this continuity. Uh, when we make the panels, the panel will create its own continuity and you'll see how the panel is flowing. If there's a low spot in the panel, that's a mistake. If there's a bulge in the panel, that's a mistake. So the panel will tell you that's the final arbiter and uh, we only got a few more minutes. Mark has got to get going for the night. We had budgeted a little extra time tonight, but things happened and we actually lost time, so we didn't get as much done as we'd hoped to do. We, we wanted to get three wires in here. Uh, Charlie's feverishly working away, bending the wires, but it looks like uh, we won't have time. Mark has got to get on the road. So we got this one wire in, and you can see the process. And uh, I don't think we're going to have time to get the second wire in. This one was over here. Yeah. Second wire over here. Yeah. So this wire is going to go over here. So we're going to end it right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being patient. This is going to be a slow process, but it, it, the reward is going to be there. It's Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop in Charlton, Massachusetts. Please tell everybody about this video and share it as much as you can. We're trying to build the subscribers. And thanks again, Ray from Pro Shaper Workshop, Charlton, Massachusetts.